Okay. Looks like we're ready. Wow, thank goodness there's these yellow things that tell me exactly where I need to go. Don't know what I'd do without them. <laughs> okay. Let's have a nice sit down. Hail, kid with one shoe. Greetings, everyone. Still. And, gotta be said, Sephiroth's a bit of a boss when it comes to this game. I think I'll stick with Sephiroth, thank you. Yes, hello to everyone. I'm back. I've been threatening to do this for a while, but, you know, I was caught up with doing the Tomb Raider remade thing. And so, I wanted to get that finished before I launched myself into Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. But here we are. We're ready to go. And basically, as far as I can tell, the whole start of the game is just an extended flashback sequence to... Cloud's first mission in Nibelheim. But is it really Cloud's memory? That's the question. No, I don't tell him I got a Hoover up again. Just have to go through. Unless we go this way. Let's not waste any time. Doesn't seem like there's much point in actually fighting to get. XP or anything since this is just a flashback anyway, but you know What's so long here? Not much We're gonna have to go up Rodney Powell and Jens Anderson welcome you guys Yeah, you're gonna make me fight these guys aren't you? I think I'll go with Sephiroth. Farewell. Come on. Jay says, I never thought I'd see Drinker play Final Fantasy VII. Neither did I. Never thought I'd get around to it. I was so caught up in Tomb Raider, but I'm glad I got there in the end, you know. That looks like our objective. All right. Let's go, ball bags. <laughs> Alex Yeager says, how are we doing today, drinker? Well, I've got a glass of whiskey in my hand, and I'm playing Final Fantasy VII. So what's not to like? Yeah, but if we keep using Mako to power our homes, springs like this will disappear, right? I fucking love the outfit they've given Tifa. <laughs> it makes no sense. And the mayor, if you must know. Except the planet's huge. Mako will never run out, right? Yeah, that's right, Cloud. Everything lasts forever. Naturally formed materia. And look at the size of it. Astounding. For the yeah, the outfit that she's wearing is baffling. Like because Nibelheim has got a kind of Germanic look to it. It looks like a kind of Bavarian village. But, like, the people there wear outfits like they're from the Old West, so I don't fucking know. To put it simply, the knowledge of the ancients is sealed within each orb. That knowledge 
not only connects us to the planet, it allows us to tap into her power. That's how we can use magic. Or so they yeah. say. Yeah. Really? Magic sure is weird. <laughs> I know someone who'd be livid to hear you call it weird. Or magic, for that matter. I can just imagine what he'd say. It's an affront to science. Who? It's nice to get all these, like, Ojo, extra scenes with Sephiroth. It's cool. I love his voice actor. They've done a pretty good job with this dude. He is anything but. We should press on. I must admit, though, I was pretty baffled by the opening scene in this game. I don't know if they're going for some kind of multiverse, alternate reality timeline thing that's all happening simultaneously. Not sure. I think I definitely want to warp to this guy, though. Let's do some commands. Ah, I can't do it yet. Hold still. Are you? Let's do some Hell's Gate. Yeah. I mean, Cloud might as well not be here at this point, really. It'd be quite funny if Sephiroth got killed in this opening cutscene. <laughs> Piece of cake. Right, onwards, gentlemen. like the graphics as well, I've got to say. It's all looking very nice. And I always look forward to the cutscenes, because they get to look at either Tifa or Aerith, or both preferably. Yeah. What's not to like? Whoa. Unblocking one of those bits that cannot be guarded against. Right. Let's do some spells. Yeah. Alrighty. How are we doing in terms of Shit. Let's see, Cloud and Surfer. Yeah, they're both alright. Give Cloud a bit of a potion there. Oh my goodness, I wonder which way we are supposed to climb. Chatensis <laughs> says Tifa Tomb Raider. Eh, I'm not gonna lie, I like the sound of that. Vengeance Demon asking the real questions in life Does Sephiroth's long hair tickle his arse? I don't know, but I imagine he has to watch out for it getting caught in doors and stuff. That just must be inconvenient. Especially for a soldier. And up. And up. Damn, Cloud doesn't skimp on his cardio. Yeah. The good old uncharted yellow climbing panels. Like, when there's literally no way to fail, when you can't fall or anything, you kind of have to ask, What's the point in even doing that that little scene? You might as well have just turned it into a cutscene. Damn. Heads up. Oh, hello. I was trying to admire the view, Sephiroth. You know, correct me if I'm wrong, I didn't think that Nibelheim was near the ocean. I'm very confused by that. Ah, whatever. R.E.R. Jordan says, Notice how Tifa's breasts are now censored by Sweet Baby Ink. Well, they can't touch this game. Bastards. <laughs> Nubanga says, Nippelheim? Yeah, let's go with that. 
That's the kind of tone we can all get behind. Yeah, you can always count on the Japanese to <laughs> give the customer what they want. Do I want to go down there? Let's have a look, see if there's anything over here that might be useful. Oh, that's interesting. So what's the point going down here? Anything hidden? We got some hidden items, perhaps? Let's take a quick look. Like how everyone else just says, fuck it, and just throws themselves off the cliff. Isn't it interesting how, out of the two soldiers who accompanied us, only one of them is still alive, and we don't get to see his face? Could it mean, I wonder? Good. All right, let's see my materia set up, shall we? Uh, what can we add? Yeah, let's set some materia in this. Uh, what was that? HP up materia. Increases your max HP. Uh, okay, yeah, might as well put that there. Super. Onwards. Alright. Not again. Garning are you gonna move the storm price? Alright. Okay. Some items on cloud. Oh, in fact, I'll use one. There we go. Hell's Gate. Do it. Yeah, uh, let's see. Items. Mega Potion. Let's. Damn, Sephiroth has really taken the bulk of this. Okay. Damn, we're just wailing on this guy. How are we doing? Items, I push in. Uh, give it to him. Since none of this stuff's gonna carry over anyway, fuck it. I like how there's a lot of discussion going on about Tifa's breasts and the, the chat. I approve. I wish I could keep tabs on it, but I have to concentrate on the game a little bit. Casey Boyd's asking me, does the drinker drink brandy? Interestingly, no. I've never really developed a liking for brandy. It's a bit too sweet for my taste. the next way up. Oh, that's what we need. Oh, well, we're going up the ladder. I'm going to have a little drink there. 
That's better. Whoa. This is one big fucking place. Let me grab that thing, whatever it is. Ah, oh, come on, Cloud. You don't have to auto-jump off, off everything. Right, let's go this way. Alright. Take it. Take it, take it, take it! Eric Parker says bourbon is better than brandy. I'm not going to dispute that. I wonder if these ladders are really just loading screens. Is this where we have to do more vacuuming? Yep. Let's get around this thing. Okay. Alright, get out of my way. Again, I'm not sure what the point of this is. Just a waste a bit of time. Oh, interesting. The power cord won't stretch. Let's plug it in somewhere else, I assume. Bastards. Come on, pull it, pull it. Yeah, I mean, this whole sequence is really just, I guess, an extended tutorial. Nice to get into the actual game. Alright, turn it, turn it. Hard to port! <laughs> Get it through the door. You can do it, Cloud. I believe in you. Came all this way just to be a fucking janitor. You guys. Someone said the final boss is a giant vacuum. Oh, damn. That's close. Get out of the way. Anything nice here? Yeah. A loot crate. Yeah. Michael Waffle, Janitor Simulator 2024. I did like it when Cloud goes into the <laughs> into Nibelheim and someone just gives him a giant fucking sandwich. It looked delicious as well. Oh, wish I was eating a sandwich right now. Tifa, no! I sense another extensive cutscene coming. What? People have been talking as well about a live-action Final Fantasy VII. I just don't see how you could make that work. Not with these characters. I think what they've got going on here is perfectly good. Wish I had. Good things were after material. doing. Uh, actually, we're fine at the moment. Let's use an ability. 
you. Crazy creatures defense. Oh damn, I'm getting fucked up here. Right, Cloud, use an item on him. Certain enemies move into this right. Okay. Not doing so great. Rookies. Get me out of here. Shouldn't be too hard. Damn. Clyde's gonna get fucked up. Oh no. That's fine. Abilities! Hit him with something! I owe you one. When we're done. On me. LCP anime guys saying, Hey Drinker, did you know that Warner Brothers shut down Rooster Teeth today? Yeah, I know, because I was doing a live stream with Side Scrollers, and he used to own Rooster Teeth, and I think he wants to buy it back from them. Which would be quite cool, actually. Weakness, eh? Move in. Limit break, yes. Let's fuck him up. Drinker, if you absolutely had to choose Genova or Scarlet. Ooh, tough one, you know, because Scarlet's quite hot, but Genova's, you know, an alien monster creature. Hmm, what's a man to do? I recall Scarlet being actually pretty attractive in this. This guy looks pretty mad, I don't know, man. Turn the Sables and the Beasts of the Mountain with a coordinated attack. Use their double helix synergy ability. Okay, whatever. Don't like the looks of this. Stay alert. Alright. Follow my lead. Copy. You're gonna need my help. We need to work together. Synergy. Alright, I guess we can't do it yet. Alright. Fine. Fire him. Hopefully we're charged up now. That's better. <laughs> no idea what's happening, but man, it looks good. Let's check how we're doing health-wise. Oh, right, we're pretty messed up. Damn it! Not again. We'll get it together. Oh, fine, I'll come and save you again. Alright, let's use... Oh, can't use that. Okay. Abilities. Alright. Yeah. Almost got him. And he's down. Look at that absolute fucking Chad maneuver.
nice work. <laughs> okay, hold up. Maybe I'm missing something here. And back to the present. You said makes Sephiroth sound like a stand-up guy. Well, he well, he certainly and made me stand up. <laughs> GBT the one says, "When did you finish Tomb Raider? Like two days ago? I just uploaded my final stream of it on my second channel, so you can see that right now if you want." Oh, I will. I will. Yeah, I was playing it until like 2 in the morning to get it finished because I just couldn't let it go until it was done. Man, it was a fun ride. I like that game. You wait out here, Tifa. No way! I want to go too! Art says, did you play the original Final Fantasy VII? Well, the bear shit in the woods. Of course I did. Loved it. Keep the young lady safe. Joss is just putting up the link actually to my second channel where the final stream is. You better keep me safe. Should we go and talk to her? Should we have a word? I really wanted to see the reactor. Why? It's not like it's a fucking playground or anything. <laughs> Nubanaga says, Drinker, I've never gotten this out of my head since the original. Sephiroth is the first Genova's witness. <laughs> nice one, I see what you did there. Yeah, do we want to look out here? Nah, we might as well just go in. Stop zicking around, Drinker. Expected to be all systems go. You'd think it'd be running at reduced output, like most last gen models. And let me guess, the pillagers don't have a clue about this. No one should know? Of course not. Uh. It really needs to be more transparent. Hold up to the president. What exactly is the problem with this place? The people in charge. While most <coughs> reactors are under the jurisdiction of urban planning, this one is overseen by RD. Huh. And also, it produces terrifying monster things. Oh, I won't. Ah! So, well, we're in the elevator here. Let's see, there's a few people sent me super chats here, so while I'm waiting, uh, Rossi gifted one critical drinker membership. Thank you, sir. Uh, Blue Collar Loser says, Oh, now you start playing, you jerk. I'm 20 hours in, buddy. Game is my game of the year. Some of the cutscenes on my TV rival live action films. Great side content. Excellent. Because as much as I enjoyed the first one, you know, it was pretty fucking limited. So I'm looking forward to the game opening out a little bit and actually letting me do some stuff and like adventure out and explore the world at my own pace. Uh, Green Dino Ranger said, sadly, I can't stay, but I hope you have fun, bud. Cheers, mate. I, I very much intend to. Sooty Thunder says, creators. Yeah, it should take about 100 hours to beat the game with side quests. Me, yeah, I've heard that before. 60 hours later, and I'm only in Cosmo Canyon. Holy shit, they weren't kidding, and it's all good. Fucking hell, that is what I like. That is what I like to hear, and I'm glad that they put the time and effort into getting this right. Ty Graymill says, Have you seen Has Been Hotel? If so, thoughts on it? No, but I've heard it's shit. Uh, Ian Soforth, gifted 10 critical drinker memberships. Thank you, you absolute legend, you. Dr. Sock says, For a shot of your choice drinker, you're worth every penny you make. I'm going to go away now. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. Uh, and Justin Watkins says, If Tifa was real, I would catch the first thing smoking uh, to Toki uh, Tokyo. If Tifa was real, I would catch the first thing smoking to Tokyo. You've done that twice, but okay. I get what you're saying. All right. Let's see if we can progress a little bit here. A big open area, eh? I smell a boss battle in the offing. How are we doing health-wise? Oof. Not good. Mixed type potion. Alright. Let's 
spells. Oh, cure. Let's do a bit of curing. I think also, yeah, Sephiroth was... Oh no, he's restored his magic. I wonder if that rebuilds, like, after battles. Does it just regrow? I think we're pretty much good. Cure myself. Okay. Time to go in, then. There not be another ladder or another elevator. Damn, it's so dark I actually can't see where I'm going. It is another fucking ladder. Jesus, this is just abuse at this point. I could, like, literally sit here and get drunk while this is happening, which, ironically, is exactly what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Yeah, Sephiroth is like your classic fallen hero. He was a good guy in the war. And then he saw what was actually going on with the Shinra Corporation and it made him go crazy. And he decided to blow up the world, which is, you know, a sensible thing to do, I would say. Now, I remember this cutscene from the original game. This was always an extremely weird scene in the original. Like, what are these things in the chambers? Someone asked me why didn't I play it on PC? Because I'm a filthy casual, that's why. Hojo, oh, you are really something. This begins his fall from grace. Genova? Wasn't that... Someone's saying he was once months into the original game when one of his friends accidentally overwrote his save file. Fuck me. You uh, you should get some new friends after that, man. That's the sort of thing that you can never move past. Casey Boyd says, why does Cloud sound like a child? Well, technically he is one in this, because this is like a flashback to five years earlier, so he's only like 17 or something. Just gonna make me keep doing this, eh? Yeah, he's only 16 in this. So yeah, he's a kid. It kinda makes you wonder how he's a special forces soldier, but you know, it's Japanese. None of it makes any sense. Interesting, Starbucks says Final Fantasy X got me into gaming and I've never looked back. You know, X's a weird one for me. I feel like I never... I never loved it that much. Ever since 7, I've been looking for a game that would give me that same experience, and I've never quite had it. 8 was a bit of a disappointment. 9 was kind of a decent return to form, but it was a very, like, different cartoony sort of game. And then 10 was just These a bit pods weird. Production of artificial material. But Hojo, repurposed them as incubators. Cages for animals. Yeah, I never really liked the main character in 10. I always find him kind of whiny and annoying.
Why did you say that name? Could it be that I was created the same way? Am I the same as these monsters? Zephyrath. I mean, you're better looking, to be fair. Ever since I was a child, I knew. I knew that I was different. Was it your horrifying monster cat eyes that special. gave it away? to the end <laughs> glossing over a few things there a eh, cloud <laughs> Sephiroth locked himself in his room the mayor had been looking forward to having dinner with bona fide soldiers so he didn't take the news too well dad had to put up with his belly aching for hours afterward huh hmm must have huh? sucked but what about Sephiroth? What happened to him? He left. Didn't tell a soul where he was going. I like Red, Red 13 just chilling there on the rug. <laughs> So I guess in this version, it's like Sephiroth then makes his way back up to the reactor to have another look around by himself. I met Sephiroth as he was heading for Shinra Manor, and he acted like I wasn't even there. Busy, I suppose. Oh yeah, he's got research to do, hasn't he? This guy's just a fucking legend. Hmm. Yeah. Sephiroth? Ah, I did see him leave a little while ago. Yeah, I like when you meet him. He's just like standing there, just doing all these crazy poses. It's like Hulk Hogan's pose down routine. He just left. I'm afraid. Maybe he needed some fresh air. Okay, but can I hit your bell thing? I just really want to. All right, let's go, Cloud. Let's find him. He's holed up inside the mansion. Something's been off ever since he came back from the reactor. I wonder if you could find Vincent in there just now. Or is he too busy sleeping in his crypt? Do we have to speak to the worried villagers or should we just go? I saw Sephiroth making a beeline for the manor. Wonder why. Let's have a look in Tifa's house first. Bastard. Now I know what you're thinking. When I played the scene earlier, did I go and look in Tifa's bedroom? And the answer is yes. And I have no regrets about that. <laughs> okay. Let's go somewhere else then. All right, everyone, I propose we get some torches and pitchforks and head there ourselves. The company used to conduct research there back when they were still a small manufacturer. Even so, the wait was basically what kept the village afloat. Wait a minute. A company doing evil biomedical research in an isolated mansion in the woods? I smell a touch of Resident Evil here, boys and girls. <laughs> Uh, no, it's not. Whoa. Alright, same to explore. I wonder if we can get down to the basement where Vincent's hiding. Took a Just look around the place. Chilling in his coffin. Sephiroth was nowhere to be seen. 
look at this ambience. Yeah, Hojo would fit in with the other employees' umbrella. <laughs> so, shall we destroy the world? Yes, gentlemen, I second that motion. <laughs> Yeah, where are the zombies, Piotr? Skeptical, skeptical Bucket Man says, quite rightly, if only they didn't teach Sephiroth how to read. I know, we could have avoided all of this. Never knew it had a basement. It was news to me too. Doubt anyone in the village had a clue. I don't want to become a cloud sandwich. <laughs> Holy shit, this place is massive. Can we open anything up? What does that say? Turn back. No. They asked me to turn back and I said no. Can we go in here? Can we? Can we? Can we? Bugger. Guess we're locked onto our path then. There he is. There's the big man. Alright, let's go and confront him then. Let's see what he's got to say for himself. Got a feeling it's not gonna be good though. Excavated from a two thousand year old rock layer. A life form in stasis. Professor I'm gonna be Gass quiet and let him talk. Life form. Genova. M E G L seven seven nineteen seventy seven. Genova. Verified as an ancient. MEGL 913-1977 Genova Project approved So, they named the life form Genova And once they understood As asks the important question is how much do you think Spe Sephiroth spends on shampoo and conditioner? It's probably built into like the Shinra company's budget for him Hey, Sephiroth but I imagine he goes through like a whole bottle just to do like one wash, because that's a lot of hair to deal with. Keith's asking me, am I going to go for Tifa or Aerith? I can't decide, because my heart has always told me Aerith. But my dick says Tifa, so... Tough one. Genova, a locked reactor door, <laughs> the name of Sephiroth's mother. I like that. Tifa for a good time and Aerith for a good life. Yeah. Ah, screw it. Racking my brain. Isn't it interesting to know? Well With this game, they've me. created two female characters who are genuinely really likable, beautiful, and it's tough to pick between them. It's almost like they're good at writing. It's almost like Sweet Baby Ink had nothing to do with this game. <laughs> ah, Cloud. I've come across the most fascinating passage. The specimen found in Strata dating back 2,000 years smiled with what could only be described as ethereal grace though the truth eluded me at first i later determined that she was an ancient or a steward of the planet as they are referred to in legend she needed a name and so i dubbed her genova the genova project was approved soon after a bold initiative to resurrect the long dead ancients. An initiative that resulted in my conception. Or rather, my creation. The crowning glory of Professor Gas. Wondrous experiment! 
He created you? I should go. Mother is waiting. <laughs> hey! Hey! Hold on! Stop him, Clyde. Bad things are about to happen. I keep asking myself, why couldn't I have come too sooner? If I had, well, a concussion will do that to a man. I could have saved the village. Or tried, at least. What? Hmm. All right, let's see what he's been up to. Hey, you! Get in there! The villagers need your help! Yeah, no kidding. I don't think I'm going to be able to help them much. Right. Come on, run, Cloud! David Harvey's asking about the the size of the swords that the characters wear. Don't think about it too much. Like physics and gravity don't really apply in games like this. Oh come on, you can go faster than that, Cloud. Walk it off. Ugh, this is gonna take a while if I have to go at this speed. I'm <laughs> cool. <laughs> okay, I should really be able to move a little bit faster by this point. Hold on, Pump. I'm coming. <laughs> giggity giggity says Clyde's walking like drinker leaving the pub at 3 a.m. That's a lie. I don't walk. I roll. Alright, can I get over this? Can't go this way. Can I get over? No. Is there another way I can go? Ah, uh, this will be the way then. It's cool how that guy burst out of a burning building and then just kind of sauntered out. Cloud is being late and gay for this whole situation. And that is... Disappointing. Come on, Clyde.
You know, I kind of thought that might have helped since it's full of water, but nah. I mean, the entire house is on fire, mate. I wouldn't expect too much from this. Isn't that interesting? There's that soldier again. I mean, I don't want to spoil things for people who are watching this and don't know the plot. It just occurred to me, right, if there's food in that house when it caught fire, there was probably a point where it was perfectly cooked. I mean, that was just a dick move, Sephiroth. This could take a while, guys. Stop. You sick son of a bitch. Just shoot him! I don't think he's one for surrendering. You should probably just open fire. I mean, he's literally murdering all your friends, like, not much to be gained by not firing. <laughs> they're not actually guns, they're just props from the local theater. I can believe that. Damn, did he just like chop his legs off? I must admit, I actually liked the original version where it was just a really short scene of Sephiroth silhouetted against the fire. That was cool as fuck. Sephiroth! There it is. <laughs> followed Sephiroth all the way back to the reactor. That was indeed the money shot, Skeptical Bucket Man. I had gone there to hide. When Sephiroth showed up, Dad decided that he was going to confront him. Dad. It was Sephiroth. Wasn't it? He did this, didn't he? Her dad's got a real 1970s porn star look, and I can respect that. Sephiroth. Soldiers. 
Mako. Shinra? I'm sick of this. I'm sick of all of this! <gasps> Has the dude saying he's way too young to be her father? <laughs> I mean, yeah. Wait, do you actually think you're going to use Sephiroth's sword against them? That's a bad move, Tifa. Sephiroth. It's funny, if Sweet Baby Ink had written this, then she would have kicked the shit out of him. And then he would have just fallen into the Mako and died. Tifa doesn't have any scars to show for this. You promised you'd save me. If I was ever trapped. Oh shit, I thought he was gonna put her in one of them pods for a second. <laughs> there, there, this will help you. Yeah, as the dude. She's emotionally scarred, drinker. <laughs> Here I am, your son. Mother, together we will reclaim our world. And I know exactly how we can do that. The promised land. Sephiroth! again the ones who robbed you of the planet your planet but there's no need to be sad mother because i'm here for you now and forever it's funny because this thing is just like a a statue that sits in front of genova I never really understood why it's there. You killed my mom. You killed Tifa. My village. My home. <laughs> yes, yeah, Sooty Hunter. Sooty Thunder says, "What the fuck was the point of that statue?" I don't know. I genuinely don't know. This planet too, for I have been chosen. I believed in you. No. Not you! Whoever the hell you are! Kenny McGavin, it's there so someone can destroy it for dramatic effect. <laughs> True, yeah. Because it's not like this is a monument to her or anything, this is a research facility. 
The rest is a blank. Man, if only Tifa, if if only Tifa could fill us in on this. The news. I remember watching it with my mom. They said he went missing during a training exercise. Hello, Aerith. But then, the story changed. A couple days later, they started reporting that he was killed in action. Yeah, that was it. The news outlets are nothing but Shinra mouthpieces spewing propaganda. Only dumbasses believe that. Ah, uh, some things oh, never change, eh? Does that make me a dumbass? Uh, I didn't Possibly. Say that. What I meant was, screw Shinra for manipulating honest folks. It doesn't matter what they said back then. Sephiroth was in Midgar. We fought him. Whatever happened, he's alive. Yeah, and we punched fate in the face. So fuck you, fate and destiny. But why come back now? After five years, doing who knows what? Because... He wants to finish what he started. He wants to reclaim his birthright and rule over the planet with Jenova at his side. After five years? Not to sound like a broken record, but it's really bothering me. Well, what's bothering me is all this Jenova stuff. Excuse me. Guess the travel or something really did a number on my back. Feels as stiff as a board. Well, let me ease that off for you there. <laughs> wow. You weren't kidding, were you? Let's get you back to the room. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gents, we have entered into pleasant territory now. So how about we give our heads a rest? Uh, oh no, you don't. That bed's mine. Sweet dreams. Isn't he going to set the bed on fire because he's got like a constantly flaming tail? Yeah, I just want a scene of Tifa and Aerith just hanging out. <laughs> it's going to be great. Hey, Aerith, you awake? Barely. Why? I was wondering, what's Cloud been doing these past five years? Where's he been? And you're asking me this? Just had a feeling you'd know. Oh, well, you're not gonna pass the Bechdel test with this kind of talk. Probably did, at one point. All that stuff was taken from me, though. Or maybe erased? By whispers? Yeah. Maybe that's why. Why what? <laughs> this is gonna sound crazy, but as far as I know, Cloud was never in Nibelheim five years ago. Wanna cuddle? <laughs> Got no Max says, Tifa, can I use your chest as a pillow? <laughs> they knew what they were doing with this game. God bless you, Square Enix. Cloud, you up? I mean, depends on your definition of up, really. All right, do I get to do something now? Damn, Barrett just sits bolt upright while he's sleeping. Respect, sir. Sorry, did I wake you? Nope. What's going on? 
For you, Tifa, it's always a pleasure to get up. Really, there's just something I need to ask you. So, can we talk? Sure. Great, but not here. Follow me. Ah, I sense a walking simulator coming on. Fuck off, Sephiroth. You're cramping my style, man. You're cramping my style. I'm trying to make my move. Wait, where is she? Damn. So this is the town of Calm. A pleasant little town. Where's the nearest bar, I wonder? Do you think Midgar's... Over there? I'd love it if... <laughs> yeah, I'd love it if Sephiroth appeared there and he was just like, anyway, Go on, lad! To. Do your best! <laughs> Get in there! Shoot. That night, five years ago, at the reactor, I saw you lying there. Saw your wound and all the blood. I figured it was too late. Yeah? <sighs> Gonna give us anything there, Tifa, or what? Wait, what are you implying? That I died? That I'm some kind of imposter? I'm implying you're a fucking zombie. Explain yourself. The only way to prove that you're human is to get naked right now. <laughs> Can't believe I'm having this conversation with you. But here we are. Here, look. My scar, that proof enough? <laughs> Show us After more. Left, Zongon found me. He's the one who brought me to the clinic. He risked his life carrying me out of the reactor and down the river. Apollo was saying you gotta try hell divers. Yeah, I was talking with more about this. All night, and the nurses who looked after me for And it sounds end. good. I'm here now because they were there for me then. And where were you again? In fact, where have you been this whole time? For five years. I don't know. Why have you never asked me about this stuff before? You know I can't tell you that. Of course you can't. Sorry, I just need some space. Damn it, get back here! I'm not finished with you! I wonder, if I, I wonder what Aerith's up to right now. It's funny, that whole conversation kind of reminds me of The Room. <laughs> Where people will come in and be like, I need to talk to you. And then after about three seconds go, I don't want to talk to you anymore. <laughs> like, you're the one who approached me. I thought we could just pick up where we left off. Like nothing had changed. But I guess I was wrong. I mean, you died and I hallucinated. So yeah, I feel like we have quite a lot of ground to cover. Guess so. Oh, hi, Cloud. I'm so happy to see you again. But maybe I shouldn't have been. I don't know, man. I'm always happy to see you. Lance says so between T Tifa and Tatiana. That is a tough fucking call, my friend. I wonder if there's a bar downstairs. Can we get fucked up? Yes! Now we're talking. Oh, give me the booze. Give me the booze. Give me the booze. Pardon me, sir, but you don't look very well. An old war wound acting up, perhaps? I'll if have so, you know I'm in tip-top condition. I myself fought for the company once upon a time, and my bodies never let me forget it. Did you take an arrow to the knee, by any chance? 
It's been a good many years since I served, but still feels like yesterday. Yeah, well, what can you do, eh? Can we, yeah, we can't leave. All right, let's go back to bed and have a quick power wank and then get some shot eye. I like the soft jazz that's playing. Oh yeah, best to leave them alone, eh? I hear noises coming from that room, though. Let's see what's over here. Alright, well, we're locked out. Only one thing to do, sleep. You two fight. No. We have enough problems as it is. Copy. Nice. Anyway, I don't want to talk about it anymore. <laughs> Tomorrow is another day. That is a good quote from a movie sometime. Speaking of power wanks, how does the big machine gun guy do it? Well, he's got he's got a hand, just doesn't have two. All right, is the game going to let me move around and do things now? I'd like to explore. Well, look at that lovely place out there. Let's go and see it. Ugh. not another cutscene. What's this? A gift hmm. from our humble establishment. Though it may not look like much, it should help you to break the ice with those you meet. Queen's blood? The hell? You can now play the... Oh, fuck off with your card games. Nope, I never fucking do that. I hate card games and... Nope. It's like when you're playing The Witcher 3 and like you're trying to like save the world and some random prick will come up to you and like, How about a game of Gwent? How about you fuck off? Multiple reactor bombings, followed by the fall of the Sector 7 plate, culminating in this unprecedented destruction caused by a massive tornado which swept through Sector 0, 1 and... <laughs> yeah, because like terrorist bombings and tornadoes go hand in hand. Let me just do a couple of super chats while I'm waiting here. Declaring the tornado to be, quote, weather warfare. Uh, oh yeah, Yamato Kamiko says, have you played Street Fighter games? Yeah, I've played them over the years, I suppose. There's been like 500 of them, but I mean, who doesn't like a bit of Chun-Li and Kami, you know? Justin Watkins says, I still don't fully understand the Queen's Blood card game. Hopefully you can teach me how to play it when you get there. That is, nope, <laughs> I, am the, I am the last guy you want to go to for that. Nikki D says, how much do you think Cloud's Buster Sword weighs? Kind of depends what it's made from. Like, if it's made from carbon fiber, it's probably only about... 30 pounds, uh, probably less than that, in fact. Um, if it's made of solid steel, fucking hell, it probably weighs more than cloud. Sooty Thunder says, without going into detail, I feel like the changes in the timeline is Tifa over Aerith, who goes on the date where OG is Aerith, but that's just me. I mean, I assume the game's still structured around like who you show more favoritism towards, who you talk to more, um, who you approach first, that sort of thing. Um, I want to go on the date with Aerith, though. But, you know, if I have to make do with Tifa, I can live with it. Uh, Seco Jokes says, Your sweet baby vid reminded me of how I was... Sorry, how I was there. I was there 3,000 years ago at the Gamergate. It should have ended then, but evil was allowed to endure. <laughs> the fight never ends, I suppose. You've always got to be vigilant. Red Muskrat says, In the original, when you get access to the submarine on the ocean floor, it only had one enemy. They have an attack called Creepy Touch, and it inflicts you with the status ailment Sadness. Uh, oh god, that's... Yeah, I remember that, actually. Yeah, I never really understood what Sadness did. I think your character stops using magic or something like that. And Casey Boyd says, Drinker, how far in are you into Season 2 of Attack on Titan? I think I'm on Episode 7? 7 or 8? So, I'm making progress. Um, Good morning, sir. Uh, I must apologize hi. for not introducing myself to you earlier. I'm Broden, the owner of this inn. 
Your companions have all stepped out. How long you been dead, oh, son? But Barrett left a message he wanted me to pass along to you. You missed roll call, soldier boy. Luckily, you're on leave for the day. Don't waste it, though. Get your equipment checked ASAP. Sound advice? This prize gear acts the material and equipment in the main menu. All right, okay, a whatever. Trip to the arms dealer is in order. Get I could idea. actually do with a new By sword. Way, Cloud, do you have any folios on you? Yeah. In that case, you might also want to pay a visit to Magnata Books. They have stores all over, but the first official one was built here in Calm, and their resident scholars are remarkably talented. If you want to unlock the true potential of your folios, you should go see them. The first customization is always free. What the fuck is a folio? Never encountered that before. Hmm. Anyway, let's carry on with our little journey. Finally. Rough day yesterday, huh? You've been waiting for me? I've been waiting for a chance to thank you properly. Without your help, I'd still be in Hojo's clutches, trapped in that lab. It was nothing. Even so, I owe you a debt until it's paid. It's always a bit surreal having a conversation with a dog. I mean, I talk to my critical doggos, but they never talk back. Torchlight says, how often does the drinker stream games? Is this rare? Your it used to be. Mine, I would go like months without streaming them, but I've been enjoying sure it recently. Thing. Quite getting into it. And I did a poll recently on my channel asking if I should have a separate yeah, gaming channel to like put all the, the live stream uploads and the playthroughs and stuff. So most people say, yes, I should. Uh, okay, so... Overcoming challenges, helping people in need, and exploring the world will deepen your party's bonds, increasing the higher this level, the more skills, and... Right, okay. So I should help people do things, you know? Like, get rid of all that pesky alcohol in their bars. Wow. Nice place, this. I think, uh, from what I recall in the original game, um, Calm is like this corporate resort for Shinra employees, like it's largely funded by Shinra, and that's why it's so like well-ordered and prosperous and stuff. But they don't talk too much about it because like they're in its pocket. It's basically like Raccoon City, but with fewer zombies. Look at this. Can we get up here? Alright. Yeah, the real question is there, is there a brothel? Not sure. I mean, there could be a strip club here. I can see they're putting a pole in. Getting some dancing going. Tifa, I've got a job for you. Yeah, Rudy says that Costa del Sol was more the resort. You're right, yeah, this is more just like a, a corporate town. Maybe people like commute into Midgar from here. Damn, this place is nice. Okay, I want to get I want to get some new weapons. So let's do that first. Mm, I don't want to talk to her yet. This is probably going to take me to the next like scene in the game. Hello, I'd like to buy a stabby thing, please. Damn, that is quite the weapon you got there, Mister. Seen plenty of action by the Ray Purchase says hello from Motherwell. Hello, how are things in Motherwell, sir? With a little love, as bad as they seem from the outside. I could show you. Right, adjust your weapon skills via upgrade weapons in the minute. Raising your character's weapon levels will unlock more of these skills as well as stat boosts, allowing your customer right. Hmm. Okay, so it carries over even if you buy new weapons, which is nice. Bison, Perry, you can set weapon skills for right. Try augmenting your Buster Swords. Okay. From you can enhance the weapon and stats, okay.
Right, weapon skills. Select nodes. Uh... All right, cool. See what I tell you? That girl is singing, and she's got the voice of an angel. Just make sure you take proper care of her, all right? Oh, and while you're here, check out what we got to offer. I will. Thank you, sir. Let's see what you got. What you got for me, huh? The sleek saber. Don't have enough money, motherfucker. So all I've got is 2,000 gil. Can I sell stuff? With the flat cap, though, you in Peaky Blinders or something? I mean, what can I sell that's worth a decent bit of smack? Uh, no, because that's all the stuff I've got. All right, I might have to go and do some stuff. Right, whatever. Jesus, enough tutorials. Jesus, just let me kill stuff. Oh, the inn. Now we're talking. Ah, oh, not going back there again. No. All right, what you got for me, Tifa? Uh, morning. Morning. Everyone Why are you being weird? I noticed. Say, uh, this tank remind you of anything? Looks kind of like the water tower in Niwon. Right? Weird to think how much it meant to me back then, when I was still there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's see, what do you think of me? What else have we got kicking around here? So, someone's been under the pussification, Ray. I was hoping that... Oh, what am I thinking? You look like you'd murder me. Oh I might. God, this is too much. I think I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> Give me that look. It's perfectly healthy for adults to cry too, you know. <laughs> Solace. We found a game journal. <laughs> That's because he's having to play it in normal mode. Like Daniel Moore, he's got the mature perspective on this. Back when I was at school in 14, uh, I was all about Tifa. Uh, no, I don't want to match with you. Fuck off. Now I'm all about Scarlet in my 40s. Hey, Dad, have you heard of Queen's Blood? Ah, fucking Queen's Blood! Get in here? No. I can only pray that they're safe. Don't mind me, I'm just running around your town and destroying the place. Wait, I spy an Aerith. I'm coming! <laughs> oh my god, tell me you've read the latest issue of Catmark. Uh huh, finally decided to get up? Well, I mean, you can get me up anytime. So, what you been doing? Why, waiting for you, of course. You have? Got business with the bookstore? If so, I won't keep you. But if you're free afterwards, wanna climb the clock tower together? Yes. Sure. Let's. For real? Awesome. Since it was my idea, I'll go get the tickets. I'll meet you in front of the tower, okay? Why is she got a neutral? perspective on me. She should be fucking happy. I agreed to climb your stupid hey clock tower. Welcome to Magnata Books. Oh, 
I take it this is your first visit to one of our stores. Uh, well, customization can seem tricky to the uninitiated. It takes time and experience to get it right. But I think you'll pick it up quick enough. Let's give it a try. Right. I've got a feeling this is going to be really boring. Right. Using skill cores in a character's folio increases their scats. It teaches them new abilities, <laughs> including synergy abilities. <laughs> Fucking okay, fine. Right. Cloud. There's my portfolio. Right, okay. What we got here? Uh, ranged blade and firework blade. Fine. Okay. And that's about all we can do for now. But we haven't even skimmed the surface, believe you me. There's much more to this than meets the eye. Clyde's got the fucking like glazed look that I have right now. Ugh, get me out of here. Well, that looks like the clock tower, so I guess we better go there. Wait, is that the best way to go? I got. I like the style of Cam. You know, it's like a medieval European city, but it's been kind of modernized and it's touristy. Lots of bars and restaurants. I could dig this. Uh, it doesn't feel like where I should be going, but I'll try it anyway. Of course, this is only the most recent in a series of crises. Only the best the beer sold here. Bars, well, now we're talking. <laughs> There's the big lad. Let's see what he's up to. Ah, there you go. I'll be nice to you. Now that's what I'm talking about. Gotta remember to order some top shelf stuff in that case. Damn. I mean, I'd like to go drinking with Barrett sometime, but I feel like it would fucking kill me. How do I get to this clock tower? Try up here? Oh, that sounded weird. Meto says, going from pyramid tits and double Uzis to a blonde emo twink with a giant sword seems like a bit weird. <laughs> yeah, this is the wonderful world of gaming, you see. I should really, like, beat her to the top just to establish dominance. Should be, yeah. Pick a direction. Funny, isn't it? How small it looks. It is far away. In between you and Tifa? Hmm? Don't look so shocked. We're roommates, you know. She say something? Not about you two, no. Still, I can tell. I would have given anything to have a friend when I was growing up. 
Don't take her for granted. What we got going on here? <laughs> like that bit of dialogue there. Funny how small it looks. I've heard that from many women over the years. <laughs> Honestly, I was trying to work my magic there, and this is what I have to deal with now. I'm getting Team America vibes here. Don't panic, everyone. Everything is BOOM! They're just really excited about the all you can eat buffet. Oh man, why don't I have a fireman's pole in my house? You sell me out, you son of a bitch. There isn't much time. We need to get back to the end. But... Don't worry about your friends. They're safe. Trust me. No violence. Please. This town suffered enough. Lord Wahoo says, I'm sure Tatiana has a pole you could borrow. Yeah, but it doesn't go between floors. It's just, you know... You can't really, you can't really go too far with it. Follow me. Literally in full view of them, and they haven't seen us. I heard about the reactor bombings in Midgar. That was you, wasn't it? Maybe. Got a contact at HQ. Ooh, can I stop off and buy stuff? I <laughs> can as well. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's buy some stuff. Eh, what else do I want here? Uh, uh, yeah. Alright. What's that? Cushion? Potion. Alright, cool. All good. Go. All right. Uh, come on, let's go. Yeah. Yeah. May I ask what's going on? We're searching for some fugitives. Have you seen anyone suspicious? I know that you mentioned it. I think I might have. Though perhaps it was just my imagination. I saw some people who had a fugitive air about them. If only I could remember their faces. Annoy someone else and stop wasting our time. I mean, really, is there no way that Cloud can go just a little bit faster? Got to pander harder, damn it. Ah, he's giving me the secret signal. That 
Yeah, better than being on your ass, I suppose. All right, let's go. That was heavy, man. Where are they? Down below, waiting for you. Hmm. A lot of people have invited me to get into their hidden basement, and it didn't end well. Chocobo farm by any chance? Also, take this. It's a transmuter. Converts raw materials into more practical items. A Republic antique, but it still works. What? You'll get more use out of it than me. An item transmuter. This is new. Why are you doing this? Could have just turned us in. I'm a plot device. That's what I do. I could have. But this town and I have a history with Shinra. Who knows? Maybe this will turn out to be the worst decision I've ever made. So before I change my mind, you better get going. What's up with him? Are you dying? You can convert raw materials into practical items like consumables, equipment, and more. To expand your transmutation options, collect transmuter chips found throughout the world. Ugh, I feel like they're just adding loads of layers. Uh, nah, I don't want to see that right now. I'll figure it out later. That's what I said when I took my driving test, and it turns out I wasn't correct. What up, broskies? Oh, you made it. All in one piece? Sorry we're late. For the love of... Where the hell have you two been? On a date. Kind of. What? Uh, Ooh. Well, that was the last one. At least till she's, a, she's a little fucking shit stirrer, is Aerith. <laughs> I gotta respect that. <laughs> Got that. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> There's something That's unique cool. about Japanese dialogue, right? They really make use of the whole like grunting thing. Whenever someone's like startled, they always go like, "Ah." Just before we go any further here, uh, let me do a couple more of these super chats just in case I missed any. Um... Oh no, that's fine. There's, I'm up to date, so I'm all good. Where Kent can Cosplay go? says, "No Where way, he's right? live. This that's right. I am live, this and I'm job. alive." This kind of reminds me of Universal Soldier, where he just runs through walls. People might struggle to fit through there <laughs> for obvious reasons. Pizza the Hut says Tifa or Aerith. Why not both? I mean, that's the ultimate right there. That's the menage a trois to end all menage a trois. What's that? Can I read it? No, just a random incidental detail. Okay. Yeah, talking about the Japanese like way of writing dialogue and stuff, there's a lot of just focus on reactions to things. Like, often not using actual written dialogue or anything. It's just you know people are really moved by things that others say, and so that you really have to get that reaction shown on screen. And they they do the nod a lot as well. They nod at each other. Not that it's a bad thing or anything. It's just different. It's interesting. 
Just look at it all. It's so green. Capo says, where did Red come from? Uh, he's from Cosmo Valley, as I recall. And he's the last of his species. A living, breathing planet. Even after everything we've done to it, it's still going strong. Jay's videos asked me, did I ever own an Amiga or a C64? I had a C64, actually. Um, yeah, it was like the first... What do you want to know? Hold on, I'll wait till this dialogue's For finished. Starters, how do we cross these planes? Come on now, that's easy. The same way you get anywhere. Pick a direction and start walking. Well, I like a simple, direct approach. Well, it's lucky they Guess totally can't see us. Soon. Guess not. Uh, is this the game trying to funnel us on a linear path? Let's you go. bastards! Look at that landscape, though. And there it was! The first step on our new journey! You coming? Yeah. Of course we are. I always remember in the original game that moment when you leave Midgar and you get onto the world map for the first time, it always stuck with me as a holy shit, this game is big moment. Come on, you can create up to three right, three parties. What's oh, in the world? Ah, okay, so you can snap between parties, interesting. Okay. When stories, discovery markers are oh, right, okay. Right. Yeah, someone was asking me about the Commodore 64. Yeah, that was like the first um, new um, computer that my parents got for me. And I think they did it thinking that, uh, hey, he can play games on this and he can also learn stuff. It'll be like productive. And then, pretty quickly, I realized I didn't want to learn stuff, I just wanted to play video games. And so, after like, maybe a year or so, they bit the bullet and got me a Super Nintendo. And I never looked back. But, yeah, it's funny, like, I've still got my Commodore 64, and I've got the tape drive that came with it. And it still works amazingly, and the tapes still work. I would have thought they would have had a lifespan that would have been exceeded by now, but they're still alright. Um, you just have to wait about 30 minutes for them to load. <laughs> Okay. So I can transmute stuff if I can be bothered. Look at this place. Wow. <laughs> Blake Parsons says, don't lie, it was porn you were looking for. Yeah, as if online porn was a thing in the early 90s. Like, damn, man. There was just nothing. You had to use your imagination. Hey, let's fight some. Guess I gotta. Get ready. Get this over. Let's go. That's it. Oh, I've been sh. I've been. Don't overdo it. Ooh, red thirteen. Okay. Let's see if I can fight with him. We've got a big party here, man. Wow. I must admit, I am impressed by what I'm seeing so far. I mean, just look at this. Take a moment, ladies and gents. Breathe it in. I want this transmutational crap. Imagine what I can make with pieces of timber. Oh. Yeah, moments like this, there's this real feeling of just joy and adventure in the game. Obviously shit gets real pretty quickly later on, but... 
It's nice to see it. Okay. Pretty high up here, actually. Okay. So let's see where we are. Okay. We want to head towards that, I suppose. Might as well. How far out can I zoom? Whoa, there we go. And that is the world map so far. I don't think I can drop off that. That is pretty damn high. Is there a way down? Waterfall, probably not a great idea. Alright, open it, Cloud. Do it. Yeah, this could be the way then. There. Oh yeah, there we go. I'm gonna give those guys a miss. A building, eh? Let's fight these guys. Fuck you, orcs. Did you learn anything from Lord of the Rings? Locked, eh? Well, there's no way we could get through a wooden door, so I'm out of ideas. meters from our destination. All we need to do is get up there. Where's some yellow climby blocks when you need them? The graphics kind of remind me of um, Horizon Forbidden West. A lot of ruins, a lot of wilderness, a lot of mountainous terrain. This has got to be the Chocobo farm. Yeah. Door's giving me trouble. Nordrotic found the solution to that. Yeah, they gave him a lot of trouble, but you know what? He's an old man, okay? Don't mock him, it's like a disability. He hasn't played a video game since like 1978. Shit, man. It's not like I'm a fucking expert either. How are we doing on our mappy map? We want to go this way then. Alright.
There's a people there. Yeah. Hello, you guys. Mind if we steal some stuff? Lord Wahoo says, is this PS4 or PS5? Man, I don't think they even produced this game for the PS4 now. Aren't they bringing out a PS5 Pro, which is just another way of bilking more money out of us all? Oh, is that a vending machine up there? Ah, oh, this is it then. Get out of the way, fucking cows. Hello, you. You be the avalanche, folks. It's okay, I'm on your side. Heard you be heading my way. You're safe here, but not for long. By the sound of it, he looks exactly like the weapons dealer in Calm. Might want to hold up at the old dock out by the swamp. I'd wager Shimmer's forgotten it's even there. Doge! Multiple dojis. What we got here? Potion? Nah, I don't need that. But I am going to have a nice sit down. Uh, Neil Lindgren says, here's some traveling money for Cloud and Company. Thank you, sir. I appreciate the donation. Well, I think I'm probably going to end the stream for tonight because I've had some nice little adventures. We're out into the world map. We get to do some free roaming and exploring now. So I'll save that for the next one. But thank you guys for joining me tonight. Thanks for all the donations and uh, hopefully... You got a little insight into Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. I must say I'm liking it so far. I'm very intrigued with where it's going, and it's just gorgeous to see this game remastered in this way. Like, looking as good as it does, sounding as good as it does. I think they've done a pretty good job to keep the spirit of the original, so... Nice work. But anyway, the next time you see me, it'll probably be an open bar tomorrow night. But for now, at least, that's all I've got for today. So go away now.